So race 36, and it's the first of the starters, all as finals. This one's the hurdle event of the two and a half miles. And the runners are as follows. Royal Fanfur for Daniel French, Martin Eden's reference point, Darren Thompson's at Widmar Paul, Pontypool Racing's north of Watford, Huntsville Club for Vinnie Gerrard, Thunderous Need for Darren Thompson, David Hilly's Lady Bolt, Alex Cherry's Max, Fox in the Box for Pedro Hogan, Waters for Stu Gray, Matt Cooper's Eve Muir and the Tiger, and Shendi Wen for Alex Cherry, makes up 13. Try and take the start as all as hurdle final. Currently held by Alex Jerry. Met last year with Glamis. He's got two runners in here. He's going to try and take it again. As they're already racing and settling down. It's Martin Leiden's reference point that's gone off up in the front. This is Max for company. To get to the first of the 12 flights. And we'll skip over that slide of the back was McWaters for Stu Gray and the Black Silks. They're all pretty close together here. It's just two and a half lengths between them all as they come to the second. Let's see if anybody really wants to take this on. I think it's going to be Max and Alex Cherries. Just up against the route. Reference point, Royal Fanfare and Fox in the box. They go over the third. Reference point jumped it better than most. Royal Fanfare and Max. And then north of Watford, the Yellow Silks and Fox in the box. Just drifting back a little bit as they take this left turn. There is the Tiger and Eve Muir for Matt Cooper. The trees. Green Silk's up against the Rao Huntsville Club for Vinny Gerard. We get to the fourth. It's Martin Lima's reference point that jumped that well. Okay, a length advantage. Just towards the rear at the moment. As Shindy went, I can't see Lady Bolt. But I'm sure she's there for David Hurley and we'll be a lot closer at the end. But it's reference point for Martin Lima. It leads by about three lengths to Royal Fanfare. Of Watford Fox in the box and Max. The Tiger and Eve Muir between those horses is the grave with Mar Paul. A little bit wider is McWaters and Huntsville Club up against the running round. Thunderous Need. Oh, we've lost one. It's Thunderous Need that's gone. So Darren Thompson loses one of his runners. He's got the grey in here, or the white horse, should I say, with Mar Paul. So we'll get over that one. The six in front of the crowd. Just at the back now is, as we can see, the shadow of Lady Bolt. Far away from his shindy went. There are a couple of lengths off the main chasing pack, but it's reference point. Still with a couple of lengths advantages. Go past the winning post from Fox in the Box and Royal Fanfare, then north of Watford, Eve Muir. Looks like a quintet of horses. The Tiger with my Paul McWaters and Huntsville Club is just a length off those. And Lady Bolton, who shindy went. His reference point leads them out again. Advantage from Daniel French's Royal Fanfare. And Fox in the box of Padrick Hogan between horses is north of Watford. Trying to get rid of his. I always come second tag the last three races. And Max for Alex Jerry and Widmar Paul the Great. And then Eve Muir and the Tiger for Matt Cooper wider. And widest of all is McWalters. And Huntsville Club. Lady Bolton who shindy when. And we're getting closer all the time. And we'll skip over the seven. Clear that. Huntsville Club. Pecked a little bit on the landing. Shuffles back towards the rear. And this reference point still leads. With Mark Paul is moving up into second now. And clear another. And got Fox in the box and Max. Eve Muir and McWaters out wide. North of Watford. Oh, a mistake by our leader there. Flattened that one. And shuffles right back. And four, three horses overtake him. Although he's got the row here, which will help on the turn. Can see he's getting his advantage back. So Fox in the Box and reference point, but reference point with a row to help. And that turn from Fox in the Box and Widmark Paul looking good is Max. Royal Fanfare still there as a go over the tenth. So a little change up front now as Widmark Paul just knows him from reference point, asks for a bit more and goes again as well as Fox in the Box and these three. Royal Fanfare hasn't asked for anything out wide. Is Max and McWalters running through the pack? Is Lady Bolt, but it's reference point that's holding them just by a nose here as we come down to the penultimate from Widmark Paul and Fox in the Box. These three are starting to pull away from the field. The one that's just coming out of the pack is Lady Bolt, but it's reference point by half a 
for length. From Widmar, Paul and Fox in the box as they come down to the penultimate. They all take it well. Reference points gets away from it. It's got a length and a half advantage from Widmar, Paul and Fox in the box. Still running on his lady ball. Max is not going to get there. Reference point over the last. From Widmar, Paul and Fox in the box. It's these three. Running on well on the wide outside. So is Shendi when and not Borders. But reference point's going to get headed by Widmar, Paul inside the final half. And it's Widmar, Paul from Fox in the box. And reference point. Widmar, Paul's going to hold them all off. Widmar, Paul takes it from Fox in the box. And reference point. And Shendi when and not Borders. Back there, I think, to the Tiger. Unlucky to Martin. Didn't take the start as all this final hurdle final. It's the next one he wants, but it's Widmar Paul for Darren Thompson. Takes it well done from Fox in the box for Pedro Hogan in second. Reference point for Martin Eden was third. Fourth was Yashendi Wen for Alex Jerry and McWalters for Stu Gray. Got up for fifth. Well, that's a surprise. Off to the chase final. <laughs>